Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com and I have a question for you. Are you in network marketing and you are struggling to get leads for your business? Nobody is interested in becoming a customer or a rep in your business? Well, pay close attention because in this video, we're going to continue our discussion about building a sales funnel and how you're going to find your ideal customer or rep to join you in business. Now, if you didn't watch the previous video on building your sales funnel, I highly recommend that you watch that video first to get knowledge of what it is, because then this is going to make so much more sense. Now, how many of you have done the list of a hundred people you know, and you went and you talked with them? How many no's did you get? Chances are you probably got 90% no's. And after hearing no for like the 10th or 11th time, you start feeling discouraged, thinking, is this going to work? What makes the difference when you go online to build your network marketing business is you need to know who your ideal customer is. You see, the biggest pet peeve amount with the industry is that they say everyone is their customer, and they're not. When you market to everyone, you market to no one. And what's happening online is everyone in network marketing is targeting everybody in network marketing and it creates this noise in the marketplace. How often do you scroll through your emails or through social media and you see nothing but pitches about the latest product or service or compensation plan? People don't go on social media to see walking advertisements. They're looking to be engaged. They're looking for authenticity. They're looking for things to interact with, people to interact with. So what you need to do is you want to rise above the noise. You see, you have to imagine right now, your people are out there with tears in their eyes at midnight, desperately searching online for you, but they can't find you because you are in the noise. You've got to be able to rise above the noise. And the way to do that is you need to target your audience. You need to find your target audience. So you want to put your product, service, or business opportunity in front of people who want to know more about it. For example, if you are marketing in a network marketing business, you are promoting uh, health and wellness and weight loss, you're not going to promote that to people who are fit, who are in CrossFit or triathletes. You want to be marketing to the overweight mom who just having a hard time shedding off her pregnancy weight. Okay, does that make sense? Here is a quote that just changed my business from a good friend and mentor of mine, Diane Hockman. I am looking for people who are looking for me. That's what marketing is. That's how you find those loyal customers and reps who stay with you. You are looking for people who are looking for you. And this is true, especially when you don't have enough time to go out there and talk with people. If you only have one to two hours a day to work on your network marketing business. You have to be so strategic online as to who you are talking to and getting your message to. And the way you do that is you're going to find your target audience. You want to find your ideal customer who would love your product or service. Why? Because if they love your product or service, of course they're going to be a customer and you're going to get some income out of that. But eventually, if they love it enough, they're going to sing its praises from the rooftops. They're going to tell everybody about it. And it's those types of people that become great reps in your business. Your prospecting and network will be better because of your target audience. It's going to be able to help serve your audience, increase your conversions, better connect with your market and increase their results as a customer and or a rep. Because if you know 
what they are thinking. You are so in tune to what they want. You're going to be able to help them get results where they haven't had results before. And that just builds loyalty. So first, we got to know your market. You have to know your exact niche market. You see, this is a common business principle. You cannot successfully get leads and grow your business if you don't know who your ideal customer is. And if you don't know exactly who you're talking to, how can you reach them? You know, now you're going to be wasting money on traffic and your conversion rate is going to go down. You're going to get so many no's that it's going to make you feel dejected and you're going to want to quit. The top earners know their audience so intimately that they come seeking them out. They don't have to chase. They are being sought out. Is that what you would like to? Well, let's get started and create your ideal customer. What I want you to do over these next several slides, screen capture this and get out a pad of paper and a pen and start writing this information down. Where does your market hang out? You can check online forums. And what you can do is go to Google, and when you do a Google search, put in exact quotes, the niche plus message boards. So if you're looking for stay-at-home moms, you would go type in the quotation, stay-at-home mom plus message board, end quote. And that will bring up all of the message boards online for stay-at-home moms. Facebook groups and pages, popular YouTube channels, online stores your market would shop at, what books do they read, TV shows they watch, celebrities they follow, what magazines do they read. Now let's get even deeper. Let's think about your ideal customer's demographics. Remember, you're creating the customer that you want to do business the most. Okay, you want to do business with the most. Who are going to be more likely to buy your product or service or become a rep in your business. How old are they? Are they male or female? Are they married, single, divorced, widowed? How many children or grandchildren do they have? How do they describe themselves? Where do they live? How do they spend their free time? Hobbies and interests, likes and dislikes, books, magazines, music, TV shows, favorite movies, websites. Do they own or rent their home? Their current occupation and how long have they been there? Annual household income, their highest level of education. The more details you have, the better you will be able to help them. Use questions to engage your customer. Imagine what a typical day is in their life. Write it out, okay? What social media are they on? What networks do they like to hang out on? What's their source for getting the news? Blogs they read? Go-to source for information? What do they type in on Google? Who do they admire most? What are their fears, their guilty pleasures, things that they can't live without? What type of car do they drive? Are they health conscious? Do they spend more time at home or at work? Sports they like? Sports teams they follow? Are they tech savvy? Do they own a smartphone? What are their personal goals? What are their business goals? What are their personal beliefs and values? What do they want more out, more out of life than anything? Their biggest challenges and obstacles. What keeps them up at night? That is huge. That is like a pain point. What are the three biggest problems in life? How are their daily life affected by their problems? What would be the perfect solution to their problem? Can your product, service, or business opportunity solve their problem? If so, how? This is another big one. What is their greatest hesitation to buying your product, service, or joining you in your business? How would you make their life better? The more details you provide, the better. And you want to use their language to mirror their words in a natural, authentic way. So when you write down all the buzzwords your market uses, what your customer uses, guess what happens? You are connecting with them on an emotional level. And when you, they give you 
their contact information, especially the phone number, and you call them and they say, oh my goodness, you speak directly to me. The way you talked to me in that video, the way you sent that email, that is me you were talking to. And when you get someone saying like that to you, you have got a hot lead who will want to either buy your product or do business with you. You see, people buy on emotions first, then justify later with logic. So your homework today is to re-watch this video. Take notes. Get out a pad of paper and physically write this down because I cannot tell you how many times I have done this. My mentors have taught this to me because they've learned how to do it. And when it is written down, it's magical what happens because those people are now being drawn to you because you now know who you are targeting. Remember, you are looking for people who are looking for you. Did you find this video helpful today? Leave a comment and share. And if you would like to know more about the system that I have used for the last uh, four years, since 2013, that has helped me with the tools, the training, and the support to help me grow and develop my brand to reach my target audience where now I generate leads and sales on a daily basis. What I want you to do is go to drlisamtownson.com forward slash top earner secret and you can get all the information there of how you can get started today for just $10. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.